ideal success at capturing the GEC base, we have now completed loading all related materials and supplies of the Magpulse weapon technology to our cargo ferries and will take them back to Admiral Zarin's research base. Their board members and technicians have already revealed much useful information. You will escort our cargo ferries back to their research base and ensure their safe arrival. After this, you will set a course for the Omar system, where our main TIE Advance factories are located. Here your craft will be retrofitted with the new tractor beam weapon system, developed by Admiral Zarin's research team. Alongside you will be a squadron of newly completed TIE defenders, which are also transferring to this sector for further upgrades and final testing. You will be flying the TIE Advance designated Delta-1 along with seven wingmen. As we have decisively destroyed the Rebels' ability to operate in this sector, no opposition is expected, so this should be a nice, quiet escort mission for you. That said, always stay alert for the unexpected, and stand by for any further orders in flight. We have loaded the supplies and materials of the Magpulse project onto our cargo ferries and are now ready to transport them back to Admiral Zarin's research base. You will jump back with the cargo ferries to ensure their safe arrival. Once completed, you will then have new orders to proceed to the Omar system. This is the primary manufacturing base of the TIE Advanced Starfighter. Admiral Zarin has completed work on a new tractor beam weapon system that can be fitted on the TIE Advanced and also the TIE Defender. Your squadron needs to be retroactively fitted with this new technology. As such, you will also be flying to Omar along with a squadron of newly produced TIE Defenders where they will also receive the upgrade. Once you arrive at Omar, simply dock at the main research facility, Omar Prime. With the Rebel Delta Group, TIE Defender Group Kappa is now launching. Once they form up, proceed on your way to the Omar system. Can't wait to try out this new beam tech, eh, Delta One? I heard it even stops A-Wings in their tracks. Delta and Tide Defender Group Kappa. Engage enemy forces. 
A1, attacking craft dead ahead. Admiral Zion has already sent reinforcements. They should arrive shortly. Another man is down. Got him. Whoa. Got him. A1, you better shake that bandit off your six. Woo! Uh -oh. Whoa! Whoa! Great shot! Wow! Woo! Another bandit down. Got him. Enemy star fighter wiped out. I barely lasted a minute. This is two. I'm having trouble over here. Looks like that got their attention. Enemy corvettes are moving to try and screen the destroyer. Take them out first. This is seven. I'm having trouble over here. This is five. I'm having trouble over here. This is four. I'm engaged in business. This is seven. I've got a starship firing at me. This is it. I've got a starship firing at me. Hey, one. Keep your distance. Watch out! This is six. Starship has been sighted. This is four. Starship can be sighted. Reinforcements have arrived. The enemy destroyer is retreating. Tide Defender Group Kappa and Tide Advance Group Delta proceed on to the Omar system. That's enough excitement for one day, I think. Thanks for the rescue, guys. We managed to resist their boarding attempt for the most part, but they still took some materials and captured a couple of crew members. Someone called Ali Tarek was leading the attack. I think they were after information about the Thai advanced. The B weapon completed. Yes, Admiral Zarin. We are ready to deploy the weapon. Excellent. Begin arming my fighter squadrons at once. Yes, sir. You safely arrived at the Omar system along with the TIE defenders. What was unexpected was how these pirates managed to engage and disable one of our ships carrying vital personnel. Our scans showed the pirate flagship belongs to a faction called the Nami, led by Ali Tarek. The Nami used to reside in the Galactic Core, but were driven to the Outer Rim during the Clone Wars, and have since been forgotten. This may explain their use of a Clone War era Star Destroyer. It seems they now mostly live as a nomadic tribe, rather than on any single planet. This bold attempt to capture personnel and materials related to the TIE Advance project is a cause of grave concern. We cannot have pirates flying around with access to such advanced technology. 
Intelligence has been tasked with tracking this group down, so they present no further threat to us in the future. Admiral Zorin has been making sure production of the TIE Advance reaches its full potential. Dozens of squadrons of these vastly superior starfighters are now making their way into the Imperial fleet. However, he seems to be inappropriately outfitting many of the ships under his command first to these new fighters, rather than deploying them where they may be needed the most. Along with the unusually large convoys he has been recently receiving, we are concerned he may be overstepping his authority. We will have to keep a closer eye on him in the future. For now, as soon as your squadron has been upgraded with the new tractor beam system, you are being reassigned to the modified frigate Osprey, as we have finally located the Victory Star Destroyer Protector and her remaining escorts. of the secret board to carry out your mission. They have proved most valuable. 